Boss just got a package from Japan. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's right, sick. Vintage, like 90s, early 2000s, Options 2 magazines, which was like a modified car magazine in Japan. Is this a cappuccino? This one's from 1993. Yeah, 1993, the Chaser. I think this is a newer one, but it looks sick. MR2. This one's also 92. Oh, Miata. Got Miata and you, gotta, I, you gotta get the Miata one, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> and yeah, and by the way, Josh always Ooh. wears a mask as soon as he wakes up. He ain't taking risks, right? Yeah, like just like Akashi Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a peek, though. I, we haven't even looked at it yet. Damn, Ooh. that looks so sick. Yeah. That's so cool. Damn, bro, this looks so cool. Look at that skyline. What is up guys? Welcome back to the videos. If you guys are new, my name is Mike from JDM Icon. What car are we working on today? Maybe we have more mods for the Z. Josh's Civic, his little daily, this Subaru that is just here, uh, or Josh's Evo. Unfortunately, we're not working on the S13 today. We are working on Josh's Evo 10. So he's been asking me to work on his car because I've been putting so much time and effort into my S13 and we're still waiting for everything to come in in the mail. We are gonna be working on Josh's Evo and he has a lot, a lot of stuff. And there's even more yet, but I think this is all the time we're gonna have for today. So this video is gonna be about the top five best mods you can do on any car. We are gonna be using Josh's Evo as an example. Most cars that have aftermarket support will have these parts but just for that specific model. So I just want to clarify it. I'm going to say a few things. I'm going to be talking about Evos, but you can also find these parts for a Z or for a Legacy, even a Honda Civic. All right, so to start this video off, we're going to start with something super, super basic, which I think all cars need. Even your daily that you don't really want to spend so much money on, I just feel it makes the car look so much better, which is lowering springs. Josh is currently running, I think, Eibach lowering springs. And I think for the Evo 10, if you're looking for like a budget-friendly lowering spring set, I highly, highly recommend this one because I love the height. It's not too low. You can daily it. It doesn't affect anything. He doesn't scrape a whole lot. His fitment can come out just a little bit more just to make it flush. But still, the overall, the height, I'm happy with that. And it looks really, really good. You can find lowering springs for Evo, Zs, or anything else for around like 350 bucks. They don't have a lot of adjustability like coilovers, but lowering springs, if you're on a budget, highly, highly recommend. And I never had any issues with mine. All right, so the next thing on our list, which is a front lip. Okay. Overall, the front lip makes the car look so much more aggressive and a little bit lower too, if you're into that. I don't know, you just can't go wrong with a front lip for a first mod because I think it completes the whole look of the car. Whether it's an Evo or even my Z, it just looks way better. Yes, <laughs> look at that. Dude, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't really look that good without the front lip. But with the front lip, it looks way better. Oh man, I haven't looked at an Evo engine bay in a long time. So Josh has a few things new in his engine bay. He got someone to carbon overlay this intake piece after we installed the AEM intake and it looks really, really good. If you guys are local to Winnipeg and you want any carbon fiber pieces done or overlaid, like a hood or something like this or any accent pieces that you want, Josh and I have no complaints with this. He clears it, he gel coats it and everything and it looks and fits perfectly. This guy is really, really good. I will put down his Instagram somewhere in the corner here and you guys can message him and check him out. He does really, really good work. The next mod for this list is carbon fiber pieces. I understand that all cars have a snorkel, but a lot of cars like, for example, the 350Z or the Honda Civic or anything like that, they have a lot of carbon fiber pieces that you can put on. Like, for example, this is for the fuse box. You literally just put this on like that. Obviously, you're gonna need some double-sided tape as well. But you just put this on top like that and it looks so much better than the crappy OEM looking plastic. And you still get the OEM fitment because this just sits on top. All you need is to 3M tape it on the original cover and you're all good to go. Now, in addition to all the carbon fiber pieces I just showed you, 
A really good one for any car is the radiator cooling plate. Now obviously this is for an Evo, but if you have a 240SX, a Honda, or like a Z chassis or whatever car, I know they make a lot of these types of radiator cooling plates for different types of makes and models. And it literally goes right here. But if your car doesn't have one, it goes in more or less the same area. And it makes the whole engine bay look a lot cleaner and just way, way better because... Because I mean, who doesn't like carbon fiber, am I right? So something like this would make the engine bay look so much better, just like that. Well, you're gonna have to put it on, but I mean, you get what I mean. Rare footage of Josh actually working on his car. <laughs> Whoa, dude, hey! How was your vaccine? It was good, it was good. Did it hurt? Did it you get it here? So much. I'm paralyzed in this arm. You're paralyzed? Dude, it, I don't know. It literally was the mildest like vaccine I've ever gotten. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't know why. I, I would think it'd be worse. No, it wasn't that bad when I got it. Yeah, I know, but it was just, I think it would be worse because it's like COVID. Like, yeah, that's true. Scary. <laughs> So Josh is working on putting the last bolt in for the carbon fiber stuff. Unfortunately, the snorkel, this thing here, didn't fit because the fitment was really bad and I tried filing it and it just didn't fit. So we decided not to put this on because we didn't want to butcher it in. But we have the upper intercooler pipe. We ran out and grabbed some... Uh, Wait, I need the bolt, I need the bolt, I need the, the bolt. Where's the bolt, where's the bolt? I don't know, where'd you put it? Here, 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 here. Good job, Josh. We had to get new silicone couplers for here and here because the one that came in the kit didn't really fit. But now that the carbon fiber is on, it looks way better. Huge difference, eh? It like makes it look so much more like modified. Yeah, look, it makes it makes the car look fast, right? Yeah, like before I was pushing like 300 horsepower, now I'm pushing like 600. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> at least this at least doubles your like horsepower to, for whatever car you have. Like if you have a Miata, and you now have 200 horsepower. No, your LS swapped over. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. All right, so here's how the engine bay looks once all the carbon is in, and it looks really, really good. I'm super happy about this. this. Yeah, that this is a good call. This was this looks really good. Yeah, it's a one of a kind. So huge, huge shout out to Club Spec for sending us all of these things in the box for our Evos. We got the brake fluid cap that replaced this really crappy, dinky looking thing. And I've been looking for a replacement brake fluid cap for so, so long. And this is how theirs look like. It looks so much better in the engine bay. Josh, what do you think? I think it looks way better than, than the old Yeah, the one. plastic one. It, it looks, looks like so that. crappy. So, so, like, this looks so dinky and just so cheap. But yeah, when you replace one. it with the metal one, it's basically like your, your oil filler cap. It just looks way better in the engine bay. And they also sent us, this is for uh, the dipstick that you can remove the stick part, I guess, and put it in here. Josh opted for a Chasing Jays one, but he, I think I'm gonna run this in my personal Evo. And they also gave us dress up bolts, which I think these are yours. These are for the valve cover, I believe. Yeah, so underneath the, once we actually paint, the valve bolts, cover right. and do a wire tuck, replacing all those old bolts with the new ones. They look really good, man. Yeah, compared to the OEM ones, these ones are just like... They look dirty and just ugly. And they also gave us this one I'll be putting in my Evo since I have a lot higher boost. This is yeah. like a pipe stopper. For the, it'll go like sideways, right? Yeah, so, so basically it'll, it'll hold the whole this whole pipe together just in case it blows out. It's not gonna hit the hood. So because this that is did actually to you. that did happen to me. Yes. So this this stuff is actually huge. If you guys have Evo tens, definitely check out Club Spec. They have a bunch of unique, awesome mods for Evo tens. You gotta check them out. They're such an awesome brand. Jeez, this car is finally going out. This kid's so happy to drive this car. The exhaust actually sounds really good. If you guys haven't checked out the exhaust video, I'll link it in the corner right now. You see that, bro? Yeah. You see that? Uh, my arch enemy, man. STI or WRX. I can't tell the difference. Yeah, STI. 
That's the eye. Oh, come on. This, he's, he's hiding behind the truck. He's hiding behind the truck because he's scared. He's scared, bro. He's scared of you. Yeah, and he's going to be like, is that a Lancer or a Rally Art? Hey, hey, oh, oh, whoa. What's, what's that are you on, bro? So now that we finally have Josh's Evo out in the wild, our last two points for this video is going to be First of all, wheels, because wheels can change the overall look of the car. And a lot of the cars nowadays have really, really ugly wheels. And you don't have to break the bank when buying wheels. Josh is running Pro Drive wheels right now, and they look really good on his car. They're, I was, not, they're not the most expensive set of wheels, but they definitely do the job. Exactly. You know? Like, could you imagine this car if it had stock, like Evo wheels? Yeah, it, you, it wouldn't hit yeah. as different. Like you know the what stock I mean? Evo wheels are their NKs on yeah. the GSRs, on the MRs, they're BBS. But they're basically like, I don't know, how many spokes are on them? They're, they're like, like like 10 spokes or some yeah, shit like that. I think even more. And they don't look bad. I personally like the... The five spokes, the five right? Spoke or six spokes. And the one thing I really like about this wheel is that you can see the brake caliper really, really well through it. And I like showing off the brake caliper, yeah, especially yeah. if you have Brembo's like on the Evo. It looks really, really good. Or any other set of brakes like endless or oh exactly you know, especially if you have a big so brake kit you want to show that stuff yeah. off for the last and final point you guys probably know that this is coming if you have your car lowered you have a nice set of wheels your engine bay looks really clean looks really good you have a front lip obviously the last thing you need is an exhaust and this is why it just gives the car that much of like like, I, I don't know what to call it. Like, it just makes the car feel bigger, you know yeah. what I mean? It also does with performance as well, obviously. Okay. Yeah, of course, it makes the car louder, makes it breathe better. And it makes, you know, actually, when you change your exhaust, did you know it actually affects the gas mileage? You have better gas mileage because oh, really? of it. Because the exhaust I, I is lighter. Think, I would think it would do worse. No, it's actually better. It feels like I'm filling up more often <laughs> with this. Well, this is the Evo. Your daily is the Civic. Yeah. Sheesh. Damn, that sounds good, man. Oh, I love this exhaust. Dude. I don't like my exhaust too, too loud, but this one... It's perfect. I don't know, it's perfect. I, because I like when this. it's idling, it's not that bad. My yeah. exhaust is super, super yeah, loud. Yeah. If you guys want to check out Mike's exhaust, you guys gotta click. Right oh up here. man! If you guys, so loud. if you guys want to check out my exhaust, which is the first vlog we ever filmed on cars, I'll put it right in the corner here. You guys should probably check that out because that. Full titanium. Yeah, full titanium, and that was the first vlog we ever ever posted so i guess that's where we're gonna end the video so i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did remember to leave a like subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one peace